Hello and welcome to SVG Europe Future Sport event for 2019 here at Stamford Bridge in London. I'm Natalie Quirk and I'm joined by Guillaume Cree, the Head of New Business and Market Development at Panasonic, who's here to talk to us about the development of uh, eSports and uh, their Hello. production. Hello, lovely to join you and uh, thank you thank very much you for taking me. the time to, to talk to us. Guillaume, I wanted to start by asking you, how can we drive uh, a broadcast quality production for the eSports environment? Mm -hmm. Well, um, let's say that as of today, uh, eSports has um, transformed into one of the main entertainment uh, uh, segments on the market at the moment, and it's growing very fast. So, of course, it means that the expectation in terms of production quality is becoming higher and higher at the same time. So, uh, considering that, and uh, considering that on top of that, usually, uh, Esports coverage setups are quite intricate. Uh, this is becoming quite a challenge because usually uh, uh, esports coverage setups are uh, using many kinds of different products such as studio cameras and PTZ cameras, switchers, uh, big screens, uh, management systems, and of course AR and VR uh, systems. And of course, low latency is expected as well. So I would say that one really has to make sure. Uh, that the production is really managed from a technical standpoint, managed very carefully so that the end result is actually looking good. You mentioned it there. I wanted to ask you about the, the big challenges uh, for companies that are outside of the, the esports, looking at moving to the esports production world. What, mm -hmm. what, what do they need to consider? I would say that one of the common uh, challenges for esports coverage is the frequency between the camera and the computer uh, systems. Because, of course, both the signals coming out of the computers and the cameras have to be used at the same time in the switcher. So, for example, uh, this is the reason why our uh, studio cameras, such as the UC4000 or our PTZ cameras, are providing directly a progressive signal in 50 Hz or 60 Hz. So that it means there is no delay and no need for additional uh, 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 products uh, to, to, to transform the signal or to convert the signal. So both signals are ready to be integrated in the switcher and mixed real time. Okay. Uh, eSport productions from the point of view of people in eSports tend to be I suppose more IT focused mm -hmm. um, than the traditional production companies uh, approach in this area. So how are the two sides, the IT and the broadcast sides, merging together? Well, I would say that IT is finding its way everywhere, anyway, nowadays. So this trend is not going to stop. So I think that everybody has to adapt to this transition uh, and to go along with it and to adapt to it. Because uh, anyway, uh, IT products are everywhere. And um, this is one of the reasons why broadcast products are more and more capable now of being integrated directly into full IP workflows, for example, by using such standards as ST2110 or NDI. So our expectation is that full IP workflows will take over eventually over traditional SDI workflows and that all production companies uh, dealing with esports uh, will have to make that transition uh, sooner or later. So what is Panasonic doing in this area and, and how do you stand out from the competition? Well, Panasonic, in terms of eSports, is offering basically a complete lineup uh, uh, to cover any games. means we have uh, compact PTZ cameras, such as the 4K UE, UE4 camera. We have some, let's say, broadcast, high-level PTZ cameras, such as the HE130. And we also have new cameras, such as the UE150, which is the first PTZ to support the 3D protocol, which is very important because it allows to integrate this camera into an augmented reality or virtual reality uh, workflow. And this is uh, uh, today commonplace to use these systems in an eSports uh, event. So of course, on top of that, studio cameras, uh, such as the UC4000. And we have our new IT slash IP software-based video processor that is also coming out. And that will be the perfect companion to our cameras for any eSports coverage. Um, it's uh, lovely to talk to you and hear your thoughts. Thank you very much for joining us. Many thanks for having me.